let's look at the market now uh, where we can see the screen so let's look at what happened in in the market so you can you guys can see my chart now uh let's let's go there all right so let me just highlight this part uh and let's do this this is let's first see the nifty so what happened in nifty today is very very simple and what we learn in rsi our favorite topic and favorite tool is not going above 60 that's like a bearish range shift it's going into a squeeze mode you can see that's a tight squeeze we have it's going sideways so it's waiting for some news some information which can break out either up or down which could create some good momentum in the market and that nothing but we are heading towards election so we will be very cautious at the same time we'll be very alert for a breakout either side now that resistance is not being crossed since last one month it's more than a month now and 11800 and it goes down to 11500 550 so it's a very very narrow range in the market since last one month and we are waiting for the breakout and that's going to happen towards as we go towards the end of this month may month because that's where the election results will be coming up so in this options uh, strategy or options program we have something called as minor event and major event strategies what are minor events minor events are the one which happens frequently frequently means banking policy interest rate and all that inflation data or we have quarterly results or monthly sales figure or that's all 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 these events happen frequently those are called minor events and the major events are the one which happens uh, once in a time once in a year or once in five years so once in a year budget a major event election a major event once in five years a brexit kind of an event once in five years or once in 10 years something like that so for a major event what kind of option strategy you should follow or whether you should follow a straddle or a strangle or out of the money at the money and for a minor event what kind of strategy you should follow so keep following those options the webinar which i'm going to do in the next few days so you learn a lot from those free webinars and to understand especially the event special strategy so now let's look at bank nifty also doing the same thing which is not going above 60 so it has made a range here which is at the bottom we are around 29,800 and at the top it is 30,700 so that's another thousand point range but within this thousand point range every day bank nifty moves three to four hundred points now when a bank nifty moves three to four hundred points there is enough movement in an option in options right so although for a futures trader or a trend follower this is very painful we don't make money those those people who are doing our top bottom strategy you might be feeling the pain right now because there's no movement but at the same time there's a lot of movement in the option so let's look at the option charts and see what uh, what is coming up there so i have this options chart with me and this is say 29 2800 put here now you look at this was in the morning when it market opened was around 140 50 and it went up to 280 that means double almost double and from outside we look at market is not doing anything up and down up and down three three hundred points but within three three hundred points option goes double at the money option goes double so that's where the power is how do we use this system how do we use option this is a five minute chart and there's a 15 minute chart you can use our famous uh, expiry special strategy which is a uh, uh, which many of you might already have it or you can get it from zero to hero program which is there on the website malkansview.com you go to zero to hero and they can check that strategy and that is doing wonders for people even people who have no clue about options is is making money are people making money which is because we don't talk about greeks i don't know what is greeks delta gamma theta put uh, this rho vega implied volatility volatility put call ratio wicks I don't know. I, I tried to learn that a lot by spending a lot of time, money and energy behind it for four or five years and but did not make money. Then I came back to my forte, which is my strength, RSI or candlestick or Bollinger Bands, where I can use option strategy using those tools and not not worry about those Greeks. So 
that actually turns out to be Greek for me. So many people have the same problem. That's why my job is to simplify uh, stuff. As as in one of my guru, one of my coaches say that if you want to impress someone, you need to you can complicate the stuff. But if you want to really help someone, you need to simplify. And that's what I'm trying to do by doing some simple stuff using RSI, Candlestick, and Bollinger Band. Now this is an options chart. For those people who are new to this, you can use option chart more or less same like a normal chart there also we have candlestick pattern there also we have volume there also we can use rsi so let me put an rsi uh, on this uh, chart where we can say let's put relative strength index right and then we have to put it as 40 60 more by default people are using 70 30 as but we are going to use 70 uh, 60 40 right now this if you look at this options chart which is going sideways in in the last few minutes uh in the last few minutes and if you this is the put and if i go into five minute chart then it has some momentum here about 60 again now it is going sideways so if you see in the last one and a half hour it is not doing anything but in the first hour which we call as the zone one which we discuss in a day there are three zones First 9.15 to 11.30, zone 1, 11.30 to 1.30, zone 2, and 1.30 to 3.30, zone 3. And most movement happens during zone 1 or zone 3. And in that time, if you can uh, focus on options and make some money, like we should not even target. Most people are what people expect out of options is to make like they buy at 100 and they really want to go to 400, 500, 10, uh, 1000. But rather than buying a option at 100 rupees and selling at 130 rupees, which is like this, if bank nifty moves 100 points, going from 100 to 130 is like this. So why not 30% return? If you do intraday trading on futures, a stock like say Reliance Infra Capital will move by 5%, 7%, 10%. 10%. But if you do the same option, of bank nifty and bank nifty moves by 100 points the 100 rupee option will become 130 140 150 right and that's amazing so if i'm doing day trading then i would focus more on options than any other stock because the percentage return is way way higher than what we can trade people trade intraday nifty bank nifty what's the point nifty will move like what 100 points and you'll get 20 30 points instead of that you get bank nifty where you can trade bigger quantity because you are not trading bank nifty you're trading bank nifty options right buying a thirty thousand thing versus buying a hundred rupee thing is is much easier and the return wise also is easier so i hope i'm giving you some exclusive nuggets and nuances which i cover in options uh, mastery and so i hope you understand this that you need to change the way you think about options and it's very very simple 